Blakeney, his sixth season. He's a former Duke Blue. And the basketball season underway for the top-ranked team in the country. David Coit rounding it out for Bill Self's team as that ball is poked away from Dickinson. Struggles to finish over link there as Hunter might have an advantage there, but it'll be a big-time battle in the honors. And they're still trying to work their way into early form. Coit, transition three. This is Harris working against Adams. Tough shot. Griffin attacks the paint. Another open look for Coit. Two long threes earlier on, and I don't think he's necessarily a shot first type of guard, but he certainly has the capability to score him. Against Mandy, Griffin, a corner three. Something really important to the Jayhawks is their offense is going to be geared around more for long range shooting. Question marks around that, and it very well could be Gill this game. Dickinson on the inside times. And they have experience at the collegiate level on the roster. A lot of hesitation down the lane. Dewan Harris with the finish. Heard of looking to score. Shot clock under five. Gill trying to create. Adams got a piece of it. What a fastball from Harris to KJ Adams. Hands the They were at the center circle all holding a kind of a rope that was all connected, making sure that the team would prefer the Hawks not just to be excited to seeing that ball go in, but to get stopped as well. And that energy continues as a big one. Deep three, strong. And at the other end, another Kansas fast. We had the bright spot, Foy and Mayo and Griffin and some of the other guys. And he goes over for two. Door cut and, and now over on their two leading scorers on the bench and the bison are looking to see who'll step up gets it on the block faces up goes to work and he has his second basket wow. that's a nice move it's great to see that young fella develop oh koje short Ob. the finish the freshman getting this year if he stays healthy, he'll likely end up at the number two spot. Tough shot with the shot clock. It's now Store with the left-hand drive. In a crowd, and that's a tie. You had at Missouri, and it's one of the tougher non-conference schedules in the country, leading you into the... ...against top ten teams. Shot clock at three. Dickinson bothering the shot of Camp. These games are meaningful right here as you build habit, you build confidence, you build rhythm. Man, he's one of the players, as soon as the ball comes off his fingertips, man, it looks it looks like it's going in every time. Harris. Good find on the backside. During the summer and even earlier this fall where his aggression and Harrison Dockery are still kind of working their way in, coming back from some injuries. Dickinson able. Harris tried to slip it underneath, threw it away. Hunter Dickinson short on that last jump hook. How long is first going to start for Hunter Dickinson? Kansas all over the offensive glass. Dickinson the beneficiary. With taking long shots early in the shot clock. And here in this last part of the second half, done a great job. See how he can be dominant in the conference like the MEAC. And he's just getting going. Outstanding. Campbell gives it back out. This is Dockery. Campbell met in the air by making sure they can stay above the game. Ice. They're gonna need that to generate some more offense coming up. But quick first step from Zeehawks have scored among the nine who have played. Dockery quick fire three. That might be the first over the top. Dickinson lays it in. Nice delivery from KJ Adams. Kansas runs, stores, stops, pops, and hits the three. She's carrying a scoring load and a leadership load there as well for the Jayhawks. Nice. 17-footer comes up short out of the hand of Blake Harper. 17 teammate down there. Zach Clements in the game for the first time for Kansas. 41 in white. That's a three. A great job of getting that ball from side to side and finding the open skip pass. There is fakes. You don't put it down on the deck trying to get extra rhythm somewhere else, but you catch it and you shoot it. 
have local guys to really be an anchor of your program, and so I think that's something that Zeke's going to do a great job of. Clemens Harris on the run, three on two. Mayo, three ball, yes! Shot clock down to three. Howard needs to hustle. And now they're going to have a very tough. Harris with the lob. Oh, Corey Badungo making it look easy. Again, Juan Harris so great with being able to find runs every single time because the opponent's scoring, and so it's forcing them to have to labor a little bit in the half young group because you've got two freshmen on the floor, a transfer, and Zach Clements who has just had a couple blocks in there and a couple altered shots. Challenges the three. Mayo uses the screen. Left open. Knocks in another. Three, first communication there with the Howard Bison and going under on that screen and Zeke Mayo's proving himself to be a guy. Mayo down the lane to the bucket, lays it in. Zeke is strong, he's hit a couple threes, can't get one up, and the first half. Dockery down low to Harris. Yeah, and I'm a little confused there as I thought I saw the ball into Adams. And a foul on Howard's Dom Campbell. Harris off the Adams screen. Down the left alley, nothing there. Now Griffin. Anytime he catches the ball there in the paint, in that blue area, there are very few guys that can contest his pulls back. Griffin attacking. Harris, baseline, trying to power against Adams. That's not a great idea. K.J. Adams of his size and strength usually against the defender, but not against K.J. Adams on that possession. Dockery, nice pass on the back door. Johnson had it, lost it, got it. Shot clock down to one. They didn't notice. Dockery forcing it up. Shot clock violation. <laughs> Pick and roll with him. Extra pass. And Dickinson missed. And he should be. He expects more of himself. And this is a guy that's averaged 18 and 10 for the duration of his college season. More. I think the guy sitting next to you mm -hmm. might have been able to put a game like that together. You're correct. Harris into the lane. Extra pass to the corner. Harper three is good. Harper. Mayo slip pass. Dickinson. He's fouled. Nice little delivery from Zeke Mayo. Yeah, he was able to get a piece of the defender. Helps the guard be able to get downhill a great feature that Hunter Dickinson has that makes the game easier for everybody. Open look, Johnson knocks it down from 17. Jaron Johnson's first point. Another one of those can drop coverage and not pick up the ball. The most important thing on the court, and took advantage of that, is Zeke Mayo. The scoring low when it's late in the shot clock, and Zeke Mayo could very well be that for this Kansas team. Strong on the handoff. Goes back. Stay up to get it. Adam driving, blocking foul on the kickout pass. No drink from the freshman. Mayo pull up three. A little heat check for Zeke. When he's attacking that offensive glass. Store attacking. Brandon Snyder and Trey Quarterbaum, the son of Coach Fred Quarterbaum. Kansas HBCU, a historically black college or university. Oh, the Dungo. Here's Clements with a steal. Zach Clements to the other end. Draws the foul. Howard, though, has not scored in over three minutes. As from San Antonio, knocks them both home. Find Strong on a back cut. Out to the corner. Johnson a three. Bang. Jaron Johnson. Corner and help the Bison convert. Mayo sidesteps, launches, hit. Zeke Mayo chanting Zeke Mayo after multiple baskets. You're doing something. He's operating as the point guard now. Clements got strong to bite. Here we see Zach Clements back at the free throw line again and kind of an interesting use of him at the four. Dickinson quick skip. Clements throws it down for the Thunder Dunk. Good cut behind the head of Harrison. Well, they backed off Adams. He goes to the elbow, pulls up, and hit. Heather and good rhythm and connectedness like Coach Blakeney has been emphasizing. They're going to be 
factory and buy-in as they start the season early on the road in hostile environments, finding ways to get one last push from the starting lineup that that, that Coach Self really sought after is to find depth. He wanted eight guys that had the potential to start. Not all that into scoring 80, 90 points a game, but he preferred to suffocate guys, though, scoring that Dickie Coit's grown accustomed to. Dickinson had the rebound, tried. Mayo going baseline, hangs, can't get the roll. They don't wear the red uniforms quite like they used to, but they'll always be known as the red team. Birmingham, but he is from a great Jayhawk family. It means a lot for him to wear Kansas across the chest. Of the Jayhawk right there, that's Jeff Boshi territory, which is one of the main reasons why he's on the team here. The top-ranked Jayhawks will win this opener by... Part that Coach Self wants to see this preseason number one team get off.